have you ever wondered how you can create a mock-up just like this for your digital products? Well, keep watching because I'm going to show you a very simple and easy way that you can create your very own mock-ups for your digital products. Hey boss friends, it's Tisha. I teach you how to use online business tools to create and sell digital products for a passive income. So if you're ready to start your digital product business journey, make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any of this content. One of the common mistakes I see with new digital product sellers is that they don't create mock-ups for their digital products and this could be potentially keeping you from making sales. Mock-ups are a visual representation of your digital products. You can use mock-ups on your websites, your sales pages, on your Instagram or Pinterest pages to help promote your digital products. Mock-ups also help your customers envision what they are buying and possibly how they can use your digital product. And it's very helpful in the decision-making process for your customers. Mock-ups are also a great way for you to stand out amongst your competitors. To help us create our mock-ups, I'm going to show you a free and easy tool that you can use to create your mock-ups. And if you guess Canva, you guess correctly. Canva makes it super easy for you to create mock-ups. And I'm going to show you two ways that you can find and create mock-ups for your digital products. Let's get into it. The first way that you can create a mock-up in Canva is by using a Canva mock-up template. To find these templates, you want to type in mock-up in the search bar from the home page. It's going to populate a variety of templates that you can choose from. There's print, t-shirt, devices. You just scroll until you find one that you like. Keep in mind that some of these templates are only available with a Canva Pro account and they will be indicated with the Canva logo. So you will need to have a Canva Pro account in order to use those particular templates. Now you are able to use these templates to promote and sell your digital products. You're just not able to resell the existing template as your own. Once you find a template that you like, you simply click on that template. And another great thing that Canva does, it recommends to other templates that you may like based on your selection. So you can choose from one of these and I'm going to actually choose this one. And once you have found a template that you're ready to use, you simply want to click on customize this template. Now, in order to add your digital product to the mockup, you need to make sure that you have your digital product saved as an image. So I have a workbook here that I created in Canva and I'm going to save these pages as an image. To do that, you want to go to the top right hand corner, click on share, click download. You want to make sure that the file type is either PNG or JPEG. If you have multiple pages, you want to click on select pages, deselect all, and then select the pages that you want to download as an image and use in the mockup and then click done and click download. If you want to see how I created this workbook, I will leave a link to that video down below in the description box. Once you have all of your images downloaded, you want to upload them to Canva. So from inside of the Canva editor, you want to go to the side toolbar, select uploads, click uploads and locate your images and upload them to Canva. Once your images have uploaded to Canva, you want to just simply drag and drop them into place. And just like that, they have been added to the mockup template. Then you can customize all of the other elements such as the text and colors to make sure that it matches your style. So let's change this a little bit to my colors. And then I'm gonna change the text to workbook. Once you've done adding your images and customizing, now you have a mockup that you can share your social media pages or your online shop. And again, you can just go to the top, click share and click on download and download this to be used wherever you want to use it. Depending on the type of template that you use, you can also create a image with a transparent background. To do this, you want to hit duplicate and then you want to delete all of the elements that you don't want to show. So I'm going to delete all of these elements. I'm going to group this and make it a little bigger, center it a little bit. To download with a transparent background, you want to click on share, click download, make sure the file type says PNG, select transparent background. Keep in mind that this is a Canva Pro feature, so you need a Canva Pro account. If you don't have a Canva Pro account, I will leave a link to a free 30 day trial down in the description box. Then click on select pages and select the page. This is page two. So click done and click download. And now you have a mock-up with a transparent background that you can possibly use on your website or in other designs. 
designs. The second way that you can create mockups using Canva is with smart mockups. From the home page, you want to go to the side toolbar and click on smart mockups and it's going to bring you to the smart mockup library. There are a variety of mockups that you can choose from. These are a little bit more like realistic type mockups that you can use. They have smartphones, desktop, different devices. Um, if you recently used any, it will show here. You can see what's trending and you can also see what's new. So for this, we're going to click on print and then I'm going to select books. And then you can just scroll through the variety of templates that are available through Smart Mockups. Now, as you can see, a lot of these mockups are premium mockups and only are available with Canva Pro. Once you found one that you want to use, you simply click on the mockup. To get started, you want to click on select. You can upload a new image by clicking on upload. You can choose from images you've already uploaded to Canva, or you can also use a recent Canva design that you've already created. I'm going to select this image that I've already uploaded and hit select and it will show me my image in the mockup. You can adjust the image if I, if you need to. Once you adjust it, you just hit save. So you wanna click on save mockup and Canva is going to give you the choice to use this mockup in a new design or download it as an image. I'm gonna select download and it's automatically gonna download it as a PNG file. Now here's a quick bonus. You can also access smart mockups from inside the Canva editor. Let me show you how to do that. So you can click on create design. We're just going to choose Instagram posts for this tutorial. You wanna to go to uploads, add your digital product image to the Canva editor. From here, you want to click on edit image and you want to scroll down till you find smart mockups and click on see all. And it's going to populate more mockups that you can use to create mockups for your digital product. So you can scroll until you find something that you want to use. And just like that, you have a new mockup that you can use to promote and sell your digital product. Hit the like button if you're super excited to use Canva to create mockups for your digital products. As you can see, Canva makes it super easy for you to create mockups for your digital products and you can start using your mockups on your website and promoting your digital products. To learn a few ways that you can promote your digital products for free, check out this video right here on your screen. Make sure to leave me your Canva questions down in the comments. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.